The city's most spectacular sights returns this weekend. We are talking about Chicago Henge. The phenomenon happens when the sun appears to be perfectly framed between the skyscrapers of Chicago. It happens at sunrise and sunset during the spring and fall equinoxes. All right, so we have that to look forward mm -hmm. to Sunday. So let's bring in first alert weather meteorologist David Yeomans and we know everyone's going to have their cameras out for this. Yep. David, how's the weather looks going to cooperate? Uh, honestly, it's not yeah. Sunday. We may not see any sky at all because of some clouds and rain. So if you want to cheat Chicago Henge tonight, honestly, has the best visibility. This, of course, happens because our grid of streets is laid out exactly west to east. So as you look down Washington tonight, uh, it's, that's 270 degrees west on a compass tonight. The sun sets at 272 degrees, so it'll only be two degrees off. I can call that Chicago Henge if you want to check it out tonight under a clear sky and it is clear. It's 90 degrees. At least the air is dry, so it doesn't feel any hotter than that. Here's what we're tracking. Another day of hot sunshine tomorrow. A few storms late tomorrow evening, which again may interfere with your view of Chicago Henge. Then widespread rain on Sunday and possibly more into early next week. Today, we had some early morning rain, even some little tinks of hail maybe on your roof this evening. We still have a boundary laid up in northwest Indiana, producing some heavy rain in parts of LaPorte County, but this is on its way out as a storm system over the northern Great Lakes kind of moves east and out of our area. More impressive though on the water vapor imagery. Look at this big swirl over Los Angeles. This is the weekend low pressure system, which could rain out a lot of our plans for the second half of the coming weekend. So here's how it all plays out. Northwest Indiana, a couple more showers over the next hour, but it's on its way out and the rest of our Friday evening looks great under clear skies. Tomorrow, a few low clouds, a little bit of patchy fog to start, then hot sunshine and a south wind for just about all of us. Late tomorrow evening, as I mentioned, sunset may be obscured a bit by some storms coming in from the west. These don't impact all of us, but after 6, 7 p.m., they kind of try to come here and die out. 10, 11 p.m., we may have some more successful thunderstorms getting into LaSalle and DeKalb counties. Then here comes the main event. On Sunday, we may sneak in a little dry time if you wake up early enough, but a big complex or shield of rain and thunderstorms becomes widespread across the area. This is what 100% chance of periods of rain looks like, especially from late morning, midday, and through the afternoon. By Sunday night, this starts to taper off a bit, but then we have more rounds of showers and storms on Monday into Tuesday. By Wednesday, when most of this storm system wraps up, a widespread inch to inch and a half of beneficial soaking rain in your garden. So tonight scattered clouds under mild temperatures 64 degrees tomorrow we actually just increased your forecast high to two degrees shy of a record 92 but a little cooler along the lake with a chance of a few evening thunderstorms say goodbye to those 90s and maybe goodbye to the 80s for a long time coming 74 with a hundred percent chance of rain sunday how about a couple days of 60s with a few passing showers early next week even as the sun comes out through the rest of next week i am looking forward to some windows open open weather north winds from Monday through Friday, keeping the temperatures down and the rain. We need it. Yeah. We do. That's right. Thank you, David.